Greetings and salutations, this is Jason Silverain, and today I'm going to be playing a little bit of Warhammer End Times Vermintide. Now, I actually picked this up back in beta, uh, though my PC was never good enough to handle it. The world it... is ending, though few believe it. The Chaos Gods, the Dark Brothers, tired of their great game. Even Tazine just gets bored. Now They've killed scaping in plenty of times. Wars could not hold. At least that is what they taught. The problem is they never acknowledge scaven as an actual threat. Now rising from beneath, and no one will be left to tell the tale. Unless you can stem the vermin tide. Now, I will say Fat Shark did a brilliant job of actually bringing the world to life in this game. I mean, it looks perfect. It has the feel, it has the setting, it's just brilliant in that regard. And it is a pretty decent Left 4 Dead style game. Though it was released in 2015, so it is showing its age. The multiplayer is unfortunately rather dead. However, there is a small modding community that made a series of mods for this that uh, improve the bots, which I'm going to be using. I'm, I've played it a little bit. I'm mostly a dwarf player. I'm still really low level. Uh, the main problem I'm Up finding... About, I, eh? Come on down, will ya? Well, thank you. But yes, uh, the main problem I'm finding... It's constantly being interrupted by the innkeeper. No, um, it's just the fact that it is a little grindy. Uh, the item drops are a pain. And the game itself is unfortunately incredibly overpriced. It's on sale quite a bit. And there's a sequel out. See, the biggest problem is, as I was just saying, is it's still £22.99. And it's like, your sequel's out and it's about 30 quid. Why is this still so expensive? So, playing it with friends is probably your best bet, but uh, as all my friends have moved on to uh, Vermintide 2, and I am being stubborn and not moving on until I've played this game a little bit more, you know, I'm going to be soloing this for a while. Now, uh, this is just the equip screen. Uh, I did think it was stupid that the Collector's Edition the main cosmetic was literally a different helmet. It's like, well, it's this helmet I'm wearing at the moment. And I'm like, really, guys? That is lazy as hell. I mean, granted, you had things like a digital book, you get the soundtrack, things like that. But the in-game stuff was just rubbish. It's like, you get these trinkets that can do certain things. Now, this one means that I'm more likely to get dwarf ranger gear, which is very nice. But the ones I got, it's like, these do not do anything ridiculous you could have easily just done something uh, my current build is I've recently picked up this little gun well it's not that little it's as big as me which has massive amounts of damage I've got a chance of getting ammo back every time I shoot someone it's armor pedal tray thing I can do headshots with it the ammo is a bit low but I really just love the damn thing it's quite superior to my crossbow which is also quite good Dwarf uh, wise, I'm going with the axe and shield. It's really good for beginners because, again, it has the armor penetration trait, which means when we encounter the big giant rat men, the storm vermin who are heavily armored all over, I don't have to hit them in the head. I can just hack them to pieces. It too has the scavenger trait, which is quite nice. And it has quite a bit of stamina, which I need for blocking. I could go with one handed axe. I've never really tried that, but. I just don't understand why you would, because I can understand why you go for a great axe. You know. Interesting. But a one handed axe? It's like, why? Oh, I do like the little wiggle on the backpack. 
Well, the other characters, aside from the Dwarven Ranger, who's looking for a uh, lost dwarf hold, we have the Witch Hunter, who is frankly awesome. He's one of the few humans who uh, believes in the Skaven, because in the lore, the Skaven are this, seen as this threat that doesn't really exist. They're an urban rumour. That's per purposely because uh, some nobles just decided not to acknowledge them. They thought, well, if all our people know that there's a huge horde of rat beastmen underneath our cities, then they might panic. Rightfully so. Others were bribed or assassinated by the Skaven themselves. And because there are like various creatures and horrible things in the Warhammer world, people just assume the Skaven were a different, just another kind of mutant. The same sort of ones that hide in the forests. They didn't think they were their own race and so big and massive, despite the many attempts by Skaven to, well, infiltrate and kill things. So, um, the Witch Hunter is all about either finesse with the rapier, or maybe having a two-handed greatsword, or going with the pistols. He can have a crossbow as well. I've got a repeating pistol, which I love the look of. The speed's amazing, but uh, the damage is appalling. Which is a bit of a shame. You have the Way Watcher, the Elf, who is in the right hands, pretty amazing. Uh, she's all about the bow, getting the headshots, being incredibly quick. Uh, melee options are um, dual swords, dual well, dual swords, dual daggers, sword and dagger sword. They all have their own little variations. Like dual daggers are faster. I think the dual swords are supposed to be stronger, but they're not as good as my sword, magic sword and dagger right now. And the plain old sword is quite damaging. I'm not that good with the elf, but she seems to be the person I get the most equipment for, much to my own frustration. I'm still working things out. I think my problem is I'm a little twitchy in this game, and I'm not very good at getting those headshots, which is what you really need as the elf. And then you've got the bright wizard who has all kinds of weird mechanics. I, my friend keeps telling me to play the bright play the bright wizard because you can pretty much blow yourself up as you keep casting magic to get more damage but it's risky and the wizard has a lot of variations with the staff again i'm still trying to figure things out i've only played as a once or twice i've mostly stuck to the dwarf and also this last chap marcus uh, kruber he's um he fulfills the same role as the dwarf really the dwarf can really do two roles he's either kind of good as a uh, shooting people or killing people or you know with his going for people with armor penetration or acting as a shield wall with by blocking this chap can go with a great hammer or he can go with a sword and shield and i was mostly going as a sword and shield to try and learn the play styles he has the blunderbuss which has absolutely terrible range but does incredible amounts of damage i did pick up the uh repeater uh handgun which again i really wish it did a lot of damage um, the thing with the blunderbuss, it has a wide spread, so it can hit lots of targets. So, at the moment, I think the blunderbuss is slightly better. I'll think about that. But for now, I'm going to play Dwarf. And the game is very similar to Left 4 Dead, except you're not killing zombies. You're killing incredibly fast rat men, which are, you know, a lot more difficult. <sighs> Franz. Shush. <laughs> now, this is the fortified inn you spend a lot of time in. This is essentially the game's hub, and I think it looks amazing. Though, I do feel like it's got lots of expanded areas, but not much actually in it. But as I've earned the levels, I've unlocked like things like this quest board, which is side objectives I can do. I oh. What do you mean I'm disconnected to the network? I'm not even online. Or shouldn't be. Uh, the Shrine of Sh Solace, which I think lets me um, change traits on weapons, improve wef well, improve items. I'm not sure what the hero trinkets do. Okay, so not consumed of using the Shrine of Solace. And I have these various things that I pick up. I'm still learning the game, I'll be honest. I've not had the chance to play it that much. I've played most of the beginning levels, but 
I've not learned the ins and outs. I've only just kind of unlocked most of these. And the forge lets you essentially add five weapons to the same rarity to forge a new one. Which is nice because um, sooner or later I might just slap all of these on the forge and get me some uh, new equipment. Uh, and then you can upgrade weapons and salvage ones to get odds and ends from them. So there's a lot of depth to the game to improve your character. But I said, the atmosphere is what makes it for me. Now I'm going to go for... Uh, not done Waterfront yet. What's doing the Horn of Magnus? This is sort of the first official level. We need to alert the authorities. The town's asleep. Well, the town's mostly dead. Let's be honest. Uh, I picked up some mutations. I don't know if that's part of the mod or if that's actually uh, something in the game. The main change in the mod is it allows me to... Um, have the witch hunter as one of the bots uh, instead of the uh, s the um, spellcaster, the wizard, because the bright wizards habit of blowing themselves up a little bit of a pain. <laughs> See that table with the map of the city? Go have a look. <sighs> there we go. I thought I pressed F2, but obviously I must have misclicked or mistapped. Well, you've seen what we're up against. So I hope you understand we must rally our defenses. First, stop by at the local guardhouse and see if they need help. Then, oh. move on to the Magnus Tower and sound the horn to wake the city and warn the countryside. Now, like Left 4 Dead, this has a lot of banter between the characters, which is quite nice. So there's certain phrases that do come up a lot, to the point where the mods off offer you the chance to turn a few of them off. <laughs> like, hitting the armor by accident, the other characters are like, aim for the head. Ugh. If there's one thing I would like in this, which I don't think is in number two either, but I would have liked it if there were like NPCs that pop up here and there and you find them fighting the Skaven. It just feels like the town was overwhelmed far too easily, far too quickly. The tower lies yonder. Come on! Watch every shadow. There are Skaven everywhere. You're not scared of a few Thagaraki, are you? See, slight problem with the uh, mod is it does cause a few problems with the uh, subtitles. It does get confused, like, if certain characters are still here. Okay. Let's see if I've got any chests. Not today. When I played the beta, there was a chest over here, but I've not seen to have one since. I can hear a Skaven. Oh, there he is. Now... When they're by themselves, they're not really a threat. Much like the zombies in Left 4 Dead, they only really become a threat when you get them in packs. Oh, medical supplies, if I don't really need those yet. No one needs healing. No scaven down here. Are we going to get a chest? No medical chest today. Here. It's quite generous with the supplies early on. Oh, hello. Now, they are a bit ditzy. Oh, I just got two in one shot. Nice. Looks like a guardhouse. What are they sleeping? Uh, probably all dead. Calm I'm sure there was far more human corpses around the place. I mean, no, these are just Skaven. Again. <laughs> Thank you. No one over there. There's usually a chest over here and over in that corner there. So let's get some loot. Ugh, empty chests. Now, oh, hello. Now, one of the things you can get is um, a dice, which you actually roll for more loot uh, at the end of the level. Because you get this essentially, like, oh, one of the specials there. Oh, well, fair enough. I'm not going to complain if they killed him early. Yes, um, at the end of each level... Ah, nothing. You get the chance to roll for loot. Now, you will get something. Oh, they're coming out the sewer. Yeah. But depending on how well you roll on the dice, um, you get different amounts of loot. Or, well, no, different amounts, different levels of loot. You're more likely to get a rare rather than a uh, normal one. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by all the Skaven trying to kill me. I did take one or two many hits. I, mean, I, 
should have been able to get through that without being hit, but I'm I'm a little distracted. Oh, there is. He's up here. Lovely. Oh, no. One in here. Don't want you coming up behind me. It's also empty. Yeah. The guards just got ambushed and slaughtered. So the human defenders just did not stand a chance. Enjoy this calm, Dory. It won't last. Now, I should really explain some of the special rats. The Packmaster essentially hooks you and drags you away, uh, which could be a real pain because he can move you through mobs and um, obviously your fellows get stopped by the Ratman mobs. So if you get dragged away, they can down you rather quickly. They're, these are storm vermin. So it's good to just snipe one before he becomes trouble. They have heavy armor. Ooh, didn't see him coming. Oh god, the rats are coming. Okay, where are you coming from? Oh, that's a pack rat coming. Come on, knock you back. Oh, there's a strangler. I am getting just ambushed normally. I just sit at the top of here and pick them off as they're climbing up. But with them coming down from there as well, it's been a bit of a pain this time. So yes, we've seen the Packmaster in action. You've got the um, Poison Wind Globadier who throws essentially grenades of poisonous wind at you, which, uh, well, poisonous gas, sorry. And um, that can really mess you up. Oh, where we go. One just came at us. Got to get out of that because it does damage over time. And it messes up your perception, which is no fun. Where's he gone? Is he... Has anyone actually killed him? I mean, the Skaven do like to run off and hide until they get their specials back. Then you get the uh, assassin rats, the the clan Escher. Oh, uh, you could kind of try and dodge him. There we go. There we go, gutter runners. They act like hunters in um, Left 4 Dead. They'll pounce on you, but they can also teleport around, use smoke bombs. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, no, that's not him. You can tell who they are because they'll have glowing green swords made of warp stone. God, I am taking too long. I should have really done a plaque just run before I started. No worries. I'll take them on my shield. The hell with that. I'll shoot them in the face. Oh. Now I'll take them on the shield. Off you go. Now these are just uh, Skaven slaves. They're like the lowest form of Skaven. As stated, they're slaves that have just been given a weapon and thrown at us in hordes. They literally take one hit to kill. Oh god, there he is. Oh, thank you. Later on, you get clan rats, which are slightly tougher. And uh, past them, you start getting the storm vermin. There's not that many vi variations, but uh, each have their own challenges. Oh. Ammo. Great. See, if I was not playing the Dwarf, the Storm Bourbon would be a far bigger problem. So I try and prioritize killing them, because I can just hack them up. 
Snatch that toy. Kill the strangler. Oh, there we go. Stay the hell away from me. Now, there's the chest I was looking for. Medical supplies, lovely. Well, in that case, I'm going to pick that up. Where's our elf, who's gotten a little beaten up? What's Elgi? That wound needs binding. Shield by a dwarf. Oh, uh, well. What's the matter, hold seeker? Is that a painful scratch? Oh, shut up. That is the one line that does annoy the hell out of me. Because unfortunately, they do only have like one or two lines for a few of the actions, and it can get very frustrating. Uh, what a homecoming this turned out to be. Yeah. There's actually a lot of story for this game, but. An would be proud. But. Oh, is that a rat ogre? Please not. Oh, please no. Oh, no, 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 no. Go away. This is like the worst place to fight one. Imagine the tank from Left 4 Dead if it was actually faster and can do area effect attacks. Oh, and it sounds like we also have oh, a horde at the same time. I think this run's going to end very quickly because the bots did not move their ass. I'm just going to hack my way through. Oh, chest. Okay. God's sakes, this has been an absolute mess. Well, the elf's dead. And I hit the Skaven Slave instead of hitting the thing. You know what? I think I'm going to retry this because it's been a terrible run. Because, unfortunately, what happened to the bots is there is a crossing just past there and one of them got knocked off and as the other one was trying to recover them they um, got killed by the uh, rat ogre to be fair I could have taken him but at that point I just couldn't be bothered because it was going to be an absolute train wreck oh well well this is just me getting back into things um, let's do a little bit more vermin tide and hopefully I won't die horribly this time